Hey guys! Welcome back to our channel! So, tonight, because it's night now, <laughs> we are going to listen to Patrice. It's her. Because he keeps insisting that I need to be telling my stories. I think she should. I mean, it's impossible for somebody to grow up in life and have no experience. Alright, see? So she. So now we will listen to Patrice because it is story time. <laughs> now it's story time. <laughs> now it's story time. Okay. Extra, extra. <laughs> okay, so when was it? You did your story time a while back about your drowning. Um. Or almost drowning incident. So it kind of reminded me of mine that I had, but I was not that old like you were. <laughs> I was young. I was a young little child. And maybe this is why I have such fear of water. I don't know, but here it goes. So this dates back to when I was in basic school. Okay. Long time ago, I just Basic ever... school. In time then, I'm going to Brown's Basic School in Freetown. <laughs> and I don't remember if I was in grade two or three. So you see, young, young age. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, like, yeah, a young age. And normally every evening there'd be a was it a taxi that would pick us up? Pick me up or, I think it was always my parents that would come after school and pick me up. So this specific evening now, it was a rainy evening. It was raining, overcast and all that. And I, you know, I'm just sitting out there patiently waiting to see my parents, you know, to pick me up from school. And I wait, I wait, I wait, I wait until I'm a, I was with the last set of students in the school. It was getting really late now. It was probably, it was getting darker. But maybe because of the rain, I don't know. But it, to me, it seemed as if I was waiting for hours and hours and hours. So, in a mind like a mind, me said, right, my parents not come for me. <laughs> They're not coming, so... We the last set of them we are going with me, we just go on a taxi with them. Oh my god. <laughs> just go on a taxi. Yeah, we just go on a taxi. No, we go anyways. Wow. We're going on a taxi with them. Because I didn't live that far away. I was living in Sunday Bay at the time. So it was like, how much minutes? Maybe. From Freetown? Yeah, about 10, 10 minutes. No, oh, I drive? Yeah. No. Or less than a Less? Day. Yeah, it was, it's, it's a short journey. Yeah. Five minutes stops depending on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See, my, my parents not coming, jump on a taxi, you know, like I'm a big kid. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. So, it was raining, and I think it was raining when I was coming off the taxi. It, it stopped at the train line to drop me off. I, mean, I, don't, I don't know why I ended up at the train line, but it was near my turn off, so I could have just walked, go down or whatever. So, I was the, yeah, we come up on the left side. The lane that I was supposed to turn off into was on the right, so I would have to cross the road. So I stopped at the train line. I know there was a lot of water on the road, but it just seemed like, like water just on the road, you know? <laughs> <laughs> so we just stepped across the road, and that's all, ah, like, we just like, whoosh, my God. <laughs> like at that moment I don't think I felt anything I don't remember being fearful I don't remember panicking or anything like that I just remember I was walking and next thing I know I'm just seeing brown water just pure brown water and debris that's all I remember the water sweep you off your feet <laughs> Trust me, it was so, like, I don't even know how long or like, I didn't, what, what would I say? I don't, I didn't have any sense of time in that moment. So it might be seconds, it might, I'm, I'm not really sure. I just, I was walking across, got swept away and the next thing I know, 
a man was drying me out the water. <laughs> so I was soaking wet and he, and he brought me across the road to, I think they have a bar and a house and stuff over there. And the lady that was there, she wet me up with alcohol. I think the alcohol had a rum or something. Mm -hmm. Some they sat me up with it. Mm -hmm. Telling me, cool it on my shit, pull me. I don't I still can't recall what was really going through my mind at that time. But I, it, it didn't occur to me that that was just a dangerous situation <laughs> that I was in. But I just know that I was just shaking up a bit, kind of, you know? So they start questioning me, ask where we live, and all that. And uh, he said, well, just bring me, so you know, lift me up and we we'll walk and we we'll find the road and we we'll go down and we we'll just, you know, direct him to where we live. And, you know, he bring me home. I think he tell me what happened or something like that. And, okay. I don't remember a reaction. That was so long ago. I was young. I was basic school. I'm young, but you're never basic school. Young. And you're not getting no butter? Yeah, eh? I'm just asking some kids. Bus house? Some Why kids. Do you get bus because house? some some hey, some some Jamaican kids like white and the same So I think my mother did just have this and reach home safe. No, I'm just asking. Uh, so I'm just getting uh, wrapped up and get dry clothes and all them something. That's lovely. <laughs> yeah, I was just asking, you know. But I get we did something there when we were older, but you know. Yeah. At that time I was a young young child before. Can you guys imagine? Because when, when I met Patrice, you know, Patrice was very slim, right? Mm -hmm. I cannot imagine. Look at me. Who, who, at that age, because I saw some pictures when she, was, when she was younger. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah, but I, I, I feel like it's like, you know, a grass straw. I don't know if when some of you were growing up, they used to pick the grass straw and put it in the water when rain fall at the the side of the road and run it down <laughs> we race, you know, we call it boat race so I so I figure that's how the water took her. Yeah. <laughs> like a strike. So I am just like this. I just walk, I'm not swimming underwater. That's all I remember. Like can you imagine as a parent though? Mm. Just imagining your baby, basically your baby. You're gonna scoop it up. Then I did it. <laughs> then when you hear um afterwards, you're like, what the heck? Yeah. Damn. And of course, a child would not know the danger. Yeah, it's the just danger. Too, it was just crossing the, some water. You know? Yeah, cause it never looked like I don't know, serious. Just rain a fall on water, <laughs> a run. So so okay. Like imagine. Well, I was thinking maybe the situation would be different. Maybe. Somebody told me, you know, your mom called and you know, she said she'll be here soon or your dad called or whatever. But me, I don't know why I decided like, okay, they're not coming. So let me take a cab home. Can you imagine a lick, lick a picnic? Mm -mm. Went on a cab all by herself. That was the first time you ever go on a cab on my own. By yourself. You could, you could have gotten lost, girl. What if you didn't know where to stop like, the cab or? I know. Yeah, but because, where I no, live. because you're act shy sometimes like, and don't want to talk. Because sometimes, yeah. I mean, you guys hear Patrice speak on this, um, other channels and so forth. At times, I have to be the mouthpiece. Patrice don't talk, you hear? So, if the cab was driving at a certain speed and by the time she look over and it maybe passed the turn off, maybe she just stay silent. Mm -mm. You say, one stop driver, let me out. Of course, yeah, well, I agree your aunt smell, but hey, we get you know that. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know that like that. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you old. There. <laughs> well, you know, we're happy, and I am happy and extremely happy that, you know, the water didn't, <laughs> you know, take her. Wash away your lifeline. Oh my god. Imagine life without me, Alan. <laughs> like, no, just imagine it. I don't know what you're talking about. You know, listen. The, the, all right, what we, everybody needs to understand. Before you meet someone, right? You were living before, right? You find a person. Well, I mean, like, no, we should know now. Your, 
a part of you. you you know remember i wouldn't even know that you existed but know what you know now we've been living together for years and years been married for over five years imagine all of those memories like never having experienced them <laughs> Why are you laughing? It's not funny. It's weird. Like, what? What? So, as I was saying, right? Why am I trying to shade him here right now? I'm not being shady. Alright, say what you're saying. I want to hear. Say what you're saying. Uh, I said part of it. You just interrupted. But, yes, you did. Good. We remember um, if. Patrice used to live without me and I without Patrice, right? You know where this went? My story went wrong or hers. We wouldn't even know that we existed. No, it would be, for me, the question would be life without me now. No, because that, that, that is what would affect me. Understand? And if, let me ask her the question. Hmm, Jeez. What, what, what would your life be without me, Patrice? In your life now what would it be completely different in a lot of ways one way and one completely different in a good way probably not i don't think so okay what i just asked you a question and answer <laughs> you don't answer what you want to hear you must answer the truth and you just say Come i on. was being truthful see i was being truthful he reminds me all the time how lucky i am Come in the eyes, you always do. And you don't, I, I, I don't think you're blessed. I won't give you the word luck now. Mm -hmm. I'm just asking, you don't think you're blessed. Okay. I'm just asking because, okay. you know, luck, I don't believe that certain things in life is luck. Luck is just our, we understand what it means, but it, for me, I would rather, I do. When I'm getting serious about certain stuff, like, you know, you just say luck off the head. But when I'm serious, I said luck and favor. No, sorry, blessing and favor, not love. So what you realize when I use blessing, she don't talk to all you that, you know, she wants you to say luck. But I didn't say I want to use luck, so you just relax, son. Yes, guys, so that's Patrice almost drowned. She was very young <laughs> and mother. <laughs> <laughs> that was the only time I ever. I should have, it, it, I you know, in a situation like that maybe happen. I should go for a photo and show them what you look like when you're right, when you're You young. have a photo? No, me, you have a photo. Maybe I can find okay. one and then put oh, it in, okay. and put it in this video. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you trying to embarrass No, I'm just asking you not to put it, you are the editor, don't So yes, guys, that was Another story time. Yes, my wife's okay. story time. You see, we now have crazy like story like you. I was just a dear devil. And I know and there I are was others. Very careful. Always been, always will be very careful. I mean, don't worry, some story I won't tell them. It's not far. <laughs> so. Not far. That's all right. So, I'm sorry I <clears throat> so it was nice listening to Fetch's story. Really? It was nice being on the vlog again. Today is Sunday and I cooked dinner. Oh, oh what's it, Fetch? It was good. Mm -hmm. yeah. What would you call it? Um, I don't know, that was a one pot meal. I don't know. <laughs> one bag of soap, but it's, yeah. it's really good. Yeah. Yeah, I, I feel you guys. Cook more often. So I can that's, taste that's the reason I don't like to take my ADM out of because this is what I'm going to take. Cook more often. No. You know, I'm, 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 I'm busy, guys. So, guys, thank you for tuning in to another week and listening to my story. <laughs> Let me know what you think about it in the comments down below. Yes, like and share. Share this video. Subscribe to our channel. If you haven't already, subscribe. Mm -hmm. And join our family. Yes. So this is the mighty way saying.